Costa Rica successfully concluded the third edition of the Life Sciences Forum 2016, one of the most important events of the life sciences sector in Latin America. The activity, organized by the Costa Rican Investment Promotion Agency, SINDE, gathered over 500 national and foreign attendees. Consulting firms, international academia, services providers, researchers, and representatives of more than 100 leading companies analyzed the sector's trends and future, along with world-class experts. We tried to put together a very aggressive and innovative agenda of the hottest topics in the life sciences um, sector. Costa Rica needs to look forward, and we know we've done great things, but we want to look forward and move into the leap into the next generation of life sciences sectors and what they're doing. So we have put together a great group of presenters and, and keynote speakers that will talk to us about uh, such hot topics as 3D printing, uh, the convergence of IT with life sciences, and many other topics that will allow us here uh, from the Costa Rica perspective to look at where we want to be in the next five to ten years. Today, Costa Rica is the second largest exporter of medical devices in Latin America. This is evidence of the development of the cluster in the country. I think also specifically in life sciences, what we're seeing is, you know, you're the second biggest medical device exporter in Latin America, number one. Um, so you have the expertise, you have the people already in country, which is very important to our companies that are looking to come in. Um, and then the second thing is your talent. And so when you look at it from a perspective of you are bringing in and graduating engineers, biochemists, to actually work in country, that's something that's very important to our companies. Our companies are looking for places where they don't have to import talent in, that that's already there, it's already um, integrated into their DNA and their being, and Costa Rica has that already. The increase in research and development activities in Costa Rica are considered key elements of the country's position in the industry. As Costa Rica focuses on moving uh, towards product development, I think uh, they'll maintain and increase their lead in the life sciences sector um, in Central America and in Latin America. Um, I think they have the right ingredients to do that. Uh, there's a lot of energy here. Um, and uh, I see in working with students that there's a lot of desire to take products and actually do R&D and product development and in working with the, the universities I think there's a lot of interest in doing that as well so um, I think all the right ingredients are there and, and I'm, I'm, I'm invested as well to come and, and, and help make that happen and I think that uh, the organizations such as Cinde, the companies are all uh, excited about the growth of, of medical technology in Costa Rica. Costa Rica is currently the home of 70 life sciences companies. Six of the world's 10 largest companies in the cardiovascular industry already have operations in our country. Is Traditionally, Costa Rica has been a favored location for manufacturing and distribution primarily into Latin America and some into to North America. And I think the next step will, can you be linked and convince companies that exporting from here to other global markets is viable. And it certainly is. I think, again, it's just a matter of knowledge and information sharing. The Life Sciences Forum was the ideal place to generate knowledge, review sectorial trends, make business contacts with suppliers, networking, and future opportunities for those working in this growing industry at a global level. Well, I think the life sciences sector is experiencing some changes in Costa Rica based on some political uh, um, decisions, all very in a positive direction. So I think we can expect to see some rapid changes, positive changes in the years to come in life sciences. That first and second generation of companies are here and you have that core competency and now you're going to start developing levels of expertise where children at the dinner table talking with mom and dad about what they do for work they will have grown up thinking that this is what you do and now that second generation will be more comfortable, it'll be more fluid and what they're going to be asking for is how do we grow, how do we gain more of this business and how do we expand our capabilities and I think Costa Rica is right there continuing their trajectory. Planting additional seeds and getting additional companies is of course a very smart move.